Just over a year since making his reality show debut, we've discovered some disturbing information about Karen Chandler's son, Connor. According to various reports, the 21-year-old was arrested on January 11th by the Washington County Sheriff's Office in Oregon for some kind of assault. Not many details are available regarding what transpired, but this is what we know at the moment. Earlier this year, Connor pleaded not guilty to two counts of harassment after being taken into custody and remaining there for approximately 24 hours. He has a settlement hearing scheduled for August. And to be honest, that's all we can confirm about Connor's latest transgression. He has run afoul of the law before, however. Back in 2016, Connor was arrested for theft in the first degree. Then a year later, while serving probation for the first crime, Connor was arrested for second-degree criminal mischief. In 2018, Connor revealed he was sober after a lengthy battle with drug addiction. My name is Connor, and this is my story about how addiction almost took my life, he wrote on Facebook at the time. I was 13 years old when I first introduced a drug called Xanax. Biggest mistake of my life was choosing to try it. Cause after that I tried it again, then again, and again, and again. Continued Chandler at the time. I realized at the age of 15 I had a drug problem, which I was at that point taking about 4 to 5 Xanax pills a day. It made forget, not feel, not care, not friendly to me. Almost killed me, almost killed my relationship with my family, almost destroyed my entire life. I went through 8 inpatient rehabs, 8 outpatient treatment centers, 2 group homes, 17 times in jail, 3 warrants, 12 hospital visits for overdose, and 4 friends' death from overdose before I finally got myself clean. Chandler, who has been dating Metrola for years and who is a serious regular on Little People Big World, is also mother to a daughter named Brittany. In his Facebook message two years ago, Connor addressed Karen directly, right in. Mom, I'm so sorry. I took you through hell and back with my past addiction. But just know it's over and that that's never going to change. I will continue to do good and stay sober for the rest of my life. We'll share more about Connor's arrest and legal fate when the information becomes available. For now, we just wish him well and hope he remains on a path to recovery. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.